grounds of the old Dominican Abbey in Athenry. Uh, it was built in the early days of the, the Friars. Uh, the border works at the present time have taken over the Abbey as well as the castle and uh, uh, they are maintaining it and bit by bit and restoring the portions of the Abbey that have fallen away and there are the, some parts of it are in a state of dilapidation but uh, as time goes by it will be all restored as far as possible to its original uh, appearance. Uh, the, with regard to the Grey Common Graveyard here, the um, County Council is responsible for the major portion of the graveyard, its maintenance, etc. Uh, and uh, uh, there's a contrast. The part owned by the County Council it really requires some attention. These headstones are covered with ivy, uh, as you, for example, and also there are briars, bushes, etc., etc. But it is a pity that the County Council uh, haven't extra funds at their disposal, uh, that they could do a bit of cleaning up in some of these places. It really is a, makes a very poor impression on tourists coming in here to see the Abbey and look then at the graveyard around, around it and look at the condition of that. It shows to be very much neglected, comparable with the Abbey itself. Uh, so that we hope that the County Council perhaps would uh, look at some of these things or at least both fault or whoever should be responsible for giving the place a better image. Right. Now we have here a very good example of this headstone which was erected to the memory of Mary Jane Murphy, uh, formerly of Murphy's Hotel at the square at Rye, and who died in 1929. Now by giving this a rough bit of cleaning with the grass have ascertained it is lead lettering and only for that it wouldn't be legible at all. Now this is a typical example of the way most of the headstones and particularly the older ones through the country are being neglected and that uh, very soon nobody, historian or otherwise, will be able to know or to make out who is who or who is buried anywhere. And uh, I think that it is very important in places of historic interest if the county council could get some grant or at least something done or the responsible authority to take over the matter and see could anything extra be given to the county councils by way of a grant, etc for to try to preserve these headstones because they are part of our heritage and at least they are the only thing we have which we can see as positive proof of the existence of quite a number of people, landlords, tyrants, etc., good men, brave men, etc., religious, monasteries and all the rest of it. So that um, it is very sad to look and to see these things. And then there is, seems to be plenty of money for other things. But it would appear that, well, once we are gone, well, that that is all. I hope not. <laughs>